my name is Brandy, aka Pixelated Twix, if you're new here. First off, welcome. And if you're an OG, welcome back to my little corner of the internet. We are here with the Blakes again. It is another episode of Journey to Redemption. And Nico has uh, decided that he was just going to come over and hang out with Tati. It's fairly late. It's Friday midnight. So it is the weekend. Elle is uh, being a little lax. And I'll be honest just from watching her interactions with Nico and the warning that she got from Lily Mae last week, she's actually okay with Nico dating her daughter simply because she knows that Tati um, is in good hands. Not necessarily that Nico is good for her, but he comes from a well-to-do family and she knows that Tati won't struggle. If this, if this goes the way that Elle hopes it goes, Tati will be set for life. Uh, what? She just invited Nika over to sleep over. That was redundant. Okay, so she asked him to stay the night. I mean, okay, they're asleep. Um, Grandma L, Grandma Lily, and her mom are asleep. They wouldn't know the difference if he didn't stay or if he went home or not. But like I was saying, Elle struggled all her life as an artist and she realizes that Tati is going to be hard-headed and go down the same path that she did, which was a creative career. And she knows that those types of careers are very iffy. Um, where is he going? He must be going upstairs. Okay. So she's she knows that Tati will end up struggling just like she. And she was adamant that Tati focus on her education but um, they are Tati's hard headed she really is <sighs> okay they wow okay right in the bed okay um, I'm not sure how I feel about that but uh, there we are there we have it he stayed over that's pretty freaking daring. Her mom is the first one up. Goodness, I hope neither one of those kids wake up. And I think Tati has her door locked. I'm pretty sure no one else can get in the house or get in the room. So uh, for now, she's safe. Besides, her mom is in a great mood. She's been in a great mood. Like I said, I think she approves of Nico. Um, and she more than likely won't say anything. I, I don't know. I'm saying that, but I'm thinking, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm wrong. She'd probably flip out just like any parent would. Um, but she trusts her daughter. She doesn't think that her daughter would have her boyfriend. As a matter of fact, they're not even together. Let me just, let me just check. Girl, what are you doing? What are you doing? What? Okay, check the relationship. Where is he at? Soulmates. Okay, they're soulmates. Two Sims, one heart. I mean, is that boyfriend, girlfriend? They haven't made it official. Look at her, watch him. She's like ecstatic. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, they're gonna have to play this off. She's like, You're, we're gonna have to play this off. My mom's awake already. Um, Hey, mom, how's it going? You, I'm glad you, oh, Craig, okay. I'm not sure what I want to be when I grow up and all my friends seem to have to figure it out. How do I figure out myself? Okay, so she's using this as a tactic to um, keep her mom preoccupied while Nico casually walks down the stairs. Um, so her mom's going to definitely talk to her about her career because this is something that they spoke about before. So... Tati's reinitiating this conversation. Um, kind of perfect timing, really. So her mom's like, no worries, you've got time. Pick something you like. I think she just is frustrated with Tati, knowing that full well that her daughter is hard-headed and she's going to do what she wants to do. So she's like, you know what, Tati, you're going to have to live with yourself for the um live with your choices for the rest of your life and I can't tell you what to do so I'm going to encourage you to follow your dreams and pick something that you like um her emotional 
control has increased. Her conflict conflict resolution has decreased. Uh, okay, well, at least she's got a little bit of... What the... Why is she watching? Okay, whatever. All that couch and you're sitting on the floor. Nico has made himself at home. Came in and got some brownies. Her mom hasn't said anything um, about him being here so early. It's 6.30 in the morning. They're not even worried about it at this point she's still in her pajamas both of them um yeah like i said she's prancing around like everything is a-okay as well um something's up something is up for real something is up there's no way this is normal for l this is completely out of the norm tati is flirty she is sitting by cozy uh, no yeah she's sitting by cozy fire she's happy that nico's there uh they've got to go to school what oh that's right it's friday why did i think this was the weekend so he came over on a school night okay girl you need to get up and get dressed go take a shower take a shower and um yeah we'll have to i guess see her after school i wonder how this is gonna <laughs> yep look at look at grandma l lily <laughs> she's just like I, I i'm i'm going to pretend like i don't see him it's at this point guys i discovered that i muted my mic so there is some gameplay here that has absolutely no voice over because and my voice cracks like i'm going through puberty once again so what i'm doing here is giving you a replay like the nfl you know when a a, a play there's a flag on the field and they replay it this is what we're doing. We have a flag on the field. We're replaying the play. <laughs> so what happened is that um, Lily Mae gets a knock at the door and it's this young man here and he is a surprise to Lily Mae. Um, and he just happens to be Tatiana's father. Lily Mae is going back and forth. This is me pausing the game because I'm at this point freaking out um, because I was not expecting him to show up at the front door. Tatiana's in the kitchen, minding her business, eating lunch. And Lily Mae is like, what are you doing here, Trent? You've got me in this awkward position. Tati is uh, not ready to meet you. She has no idea who you are. Does Elle know you're here? Or, and he's explaining to her that Elle does not know he's here. And he doesn't really care at this point because he's been trying to get through to Elle for the, the last several months because he wants to be a very active part of Tatiana's life. Shiloh walks in, Tati's friend, for whatever reason. I think she was supposed to come over and I don't know what happened there, but she walks in. She's, you know, showing her something in her phone. They're goofing off. Meanwhile, in the living room, <laughs> Lily May is like, Trent, you can't stay here. You have to go. Um, I I can't, Elle can't see you here. I understand what you're trying to do. I understand your situation. I've been trying to tell my daughter that she needs to be honest with Tatiana, but you have to let her, give her some time to forewarn her tati about what's going on tati walks through the living room no idea what's going on because this child is oblivious her mind is in the clouds her head is in the clouds she's thinking about nico lily may is steadily trying to get trenton to leave and he is adamant that he stays because he wants to meet his daughter so they go back and forth for a little while and lo and behold L is at home from work and this is where all heck breaks loose yes L walks in the door casually as usual 
you know, it's been a long day at work. She's glad to be home. She's happy to see her family. Tati's upstairs playing her guitar, her grandfather's guitar. She's just having herself a good old oblivious time, not knowing what's going on downstairs. Elle walks in like, what the heck are you doing in my house? And she proceeds to light him a new one. You need to leave. They go back and forth. He explains that he's here to see his daughter. If she does not allow him to see Tati, he's going to make life very, very hard because he's been trying to get through to Elle for several months, several years. He wants to be a part of his daughter's life. She's been lying to Tati. She's not ready to tell him. She's like, you have no right to be here. He's like, I have every right. I've been paying child support. I've been paying for her tuition. Or have you not been telling her that? And no, Elle has not. She has been, she told Tati that she was at the academy on a scholarship. And he's like, look, I'm good enough to be paying, uh, child support and paying for her tuition but i'm not good enough to see my daughter oh no that's not gonna fly not anymore um he's he's putting his foot down and seen okay so we're back you guys saw that little clip i guess you want to call it um tati's father uh showed up yes that's exactly who this is this is Tati's father, and you can tell by the look on his face um, that he's basically got the upper hand here. Elle, Elle doesn't know what to do. Um, she is, she's, she's at her wits end here because Trenton LeBeau, Tati's father, showed up uninvited, not, you know, just out of the blue. Um, but he's actually been trying to get in contact with Tati um, for a very long time. And he's been sending letters. He's been fo uh, phone calling. He's been texting Elle, um, trying to talk to his daughter. And she's been denying him. Um, he's And he's fed up. He's absolutely fed up. And he came over here because he's like, I can pay child support. I can make sure that her tuition's paid at that expensive school. Tati does not know that. She thinks that she's there on a scholarship. Uh, but he's the one that's been footing the bill. And Tati is oblivious. She is completely oblivious. She's been over here doing her homework. Um, and and L Grandma Lily Mae is like, yeah, I'm over here trying to mediate because I know it's about to hit the fan. <sighs> All right. Okay. Let's, um, Tati, I need to talk to you. I really, I have to talk to you. Um, what about mom? That man that was just here? Yeah? Who was he? How how can I tell you this? Um, okay. Remember when I told you that your father... Mom. Wait. Before you... Be, wait. Before you even start. Do you mean to tell me he was my father? Are you... Mom! You're saying that that man that was here... You're telling me that he was my dad. Yes, Tati, he's your dad. You've been lying to me this entire time. You told me that he didn't want to be a part of my life. Mom, don't walk away from me. Tati, I don't want to talk about it right now, okay? No, I want to talk about it right now. 
You lied to me. You told me he didn't want me. This entire time I'm thinking that my father hated me. I didn't say that he hated you. How else am I supposed to feel? He's not around. I've never met him. And now he shows up. And I'm here this entire time and no one said anything. No one even took the time to introduce me. I can't trust you. I, I can't trust you. You've... This is... You've done this more than once, Mom. You've tried to control my life, my friends, who I talk to, and now you're trying to control my relationship with my father? Tati, you don't understand. What do I not need to understand? What do I need to understand? Tati, it's more complicated than this. How complicated could it be, Mom? I have a dad. He wants to be in my life. Tati, if he wanted to be in your life, he would have walked through that door a long time ago. How do you know? You've been keeping him and from keeping us from each other. I'm the parent here. I make the decisions. And if I decide that he's not going to be a part of your life, I have a good reason. Yeah, whatever. Mom, I'm done. I'm tired. I'm tired of you trying to control my life. I'm tired of you trying to ruin it. You better listen, young lady. This is my house. I pay the rules here. I pay the bills to be the boss here. <laughs> I pay the cost to be the boss? Yeah. All right. So. All right. This is where we're at. Grandma, Grandma Lily just went to bed. She's like, I, I, you know what though? I think at this point she's just like, you know, it was, it was bound to happen. And she did tell Elle that it was time for her to be honest about Tati's father. She told her that at, at lunch last week and Elle was just not having it. She was adamant that he continued to be this figment of Tati's imagination, really, because that's what he had become. And, oh my gosh, as you can see, there's a bunch of letters here under the dresser. Um, there's some here. And Tati never goes in her mom's room. I mean, it's kind of off limits. Uh, but she never found the need to go in there. I mean, every now and then she'd go and do homework, but she'd go sit, um and just read but that was it they're going to be arguing for the rest of the night so we're going to go ahead and cut to the next day um and i will see you guys in just a moment nico thank you for meeting me here i need to tell you something what yeah i just met my father today wow uh how do you feel um Betrayed? Betrayed? What happened? Well, okay. My mom's been lying to me this entire time. She told me that my father didn't want me in his life, um, that he walked away, and that he just didn't, he didn't want me. Is that Vlad? Yeah, is that Vlad? I'm sorry, Tati. Um, I don't, I don't know what to do. I'm angry with my mom. I, I, I don't know how I feel about her anymore. I don't, I don't think I can trust her. I don't know what to do, Nico. Oh, I love you. What? You love me? Looks like you love yourself, buddy. Um. Wow. Okay. He said the L word. Um. She's not in a good mood right now. I mean, that kiss was great. But, yeah. She doesn't even want to flirt. But she's thankful that he... <laughs> said that he loved her because she... She loves him back. She just can't tell him. 
Right? Can she? No. Give him a frenzied kiss. See if that... See how that works. <laughs> I've never seen that. The frenzied kiss. Oh, okay. I love you too. Is that Gio? You guys, it's Gio over there swinging. He's just trying to cheer up right now. He's He knows that there's nothing that he could ever do to make up for what her mother did. But um, he's just really trying to cheer her up and let her know that he's there for her like she's been there for him um so let's be gross no let's not let's not i thought like they were gonna tell it she was gonna tell a gross joke but don't want to fart in front of her <laughs> dati everything's gonna be okay i promise i'm here for you anything you need i just let me know um, I know what it's like to have parents that don't seem to care about you as much as you think, but they do. They do. They really do. They just don't always make the best decisions. So you're saying that my mom did make the best decision here? Your mom had a reason for doing what she did. I'm not saying that you have to forgive her right away. I'm just saying that, you know, you have time. You know, to calm down and think things through. I'm just angry. Well, that's what I'm here for. You know, to cheer you up. Let's see if we can. Okay, let's give him a rose. Nothing. Oh, let's give him a rose. Let's say we don't have anything in our pocket. Thank you, Nico. I appreciate it. You've been such a good friend. I mean, that's what we are, right? Friends? Uh, I guess, I mean, she's made it perfectly clear that she wants more. Happy moment, deep connection. Yeah, but, um, okay, that kiss, I guess, gave her his, gave her his answer. No, I think we're more than friends. I think we're past that. Girl, go over there and give him a kiss. <laughs> Asked to be his boyfriend. My girlfriend. What? Okay. It's official. They are together. Uh, wait a minute. So that means he's no longer with Tempest then, right? Right? Yes? No? Maybe so? Okay. Well, um, that's interesting. Tati decided that she wasn't going home tonight. Um... She didn't care about breaking any rules. Uh, she didn't care about making her mother angry. She decided that if her mother couldn't be honest with her, then she, her mother just basically um, reneged on every rule, every house rule there was. Um, oh my goodness. Oh! <gasps> Oh my, oh my God, oh my God, oh my gosh. <laughs> what, wait, hold up, hold up, hold the phone. What in the world? In your parents' bed? You've got to be kidding me, dude. Your dad is right here. Your mom is right here. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry for yelling, you guys. I'm sorry for yelling. This, okay. When I, okay. 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 Um. I, I don't I don't even know I I don't even know I have I'm I'm okay I'm not okay she she just they just in his and <laughs> uh, it 
okay um okay okay um girl can you sleep here at least can you just at least sleep in his room not in his parents room for crying out loud what is going on here what are you guys doing okay i'm i'm this what i'm just throwing just throw the whole just throw it all away just throw it away i i'm i don't know i i'm oh my gosh oh my gosh what you listen listen linda listen linda you and i need to talk just you and me just a personal chit chat no don't be smiling don't walk away don't walk away where are you going where are you going we need to talk don't don't be prancing through the house like you you did something i mean you did something but you did something you had no business doing and you just took full advantage of this girl who was in a state of i don't know i mean she's up in your room sleeping all peacefully like she's innocent you're you're not innocent you're just as bad as he is you need to go home is what you need to do you need to go home oh my gosh you guys i had to pause the game regroup um it's the morning it's the next day it's saturday morning uh nico didn't even go to sleep he has been up most of the night i think he just wanted to give her some time to get some rest um and yeah, his parents, his parents, look at them, they're taking a nap. They have no idea that their bed was just defiled, def defiled. Oh my gosh. Um, I I'm, I'm still at a, like, at a loss for words. I'm still like, what is going on? What is going on with this LP? What are you people doing? You're just, you, <laughs> you're killing me, Smalls. You're killing me. Okay, so we're going to regroup here. We're going to regroup. This is, this is, this is okay. This is okay. We're okay, Tati. We're okay. Um, I know you think you're, you're, you're good. Did, did they do what I thought they did? I mean, nothing came up that they did. I thought maybe they were, maybe they were just messing around. That wasn't just messing around, right? I mean, messing around is like they were like making out. That wasn't making out. That that wasn't making out at all. Um, I'm trying to. Do, I I don't even know what I'm doing. I have no idea. I don't know where to put my hands. Um. Yeah. Okay. So Elle's still angry. Um, Tati's probably not going to go home. Um, not for a while anyways i think she feels fine just hanging out with nico for the rest of the day um although nico probably needs to get some sleep but now i don't even know where he went either way um oh is anybody gonna come and check on the baby the baby's just chilling dirty dishes can she go in here and clean up anyways i'm afraid to let her go in here and take a shower somebody will probably come up and say that she's doing something um that's um inappropriate but i'm gonna have her take a shower nonetheless you need to clean the muck and mire off girl yeah go ahead and get up you've slept long enough i'm sure she's probably panicking she does she's just like oh my gosh what did i just do what did i do her life is like falling apart at this point that's how she's feeling because she just first she's ex elated because you know she, they just made it official uh they're a couple but then she just she she's she's no longer um she's no longer innocent so there is that you know that she's going to have to deal with the realization that um yeah uh Now she's got to go face Nico, um, and he's gone. Where's he at? Oh, okay, I was going to say, he's down here. I mean, he's, he's like, down here chilling like nothing happened. Okay, I'm going to have her come down here, and um, maybe she can talk to him. Um, probably just embrace him. 
first and then just talk to him because he has to realize that she has never done anything like that before. So things have got to be, oh, well, mom's there. Actually, her, his parents are very lax. Um, and they're probably used to Tempest coming over here. Although Tati's a new face. And um, so for her to come downstairs dressed in the same clothes she was wearing the day before. No, actually, she's changed her clothes. Did you ever change clothes with your girl? Look, y'all, I'm all over the place because I am I'm befuddled. I am befuddled. Um, I can't believe we did that. Yeah, I can't either. Um, are you okay with it? I, I think I'm okay with it. I've never done that before. Well, yeah, I, I, sorry, I feel like maybe I pressured you. You didn't, you didn't at all. I, I, yeah, I don't know. All right, so she's got some thinking to do, and so do I, because <laughs> I'm really at a loss for words, guys. I, I don't know. She's crying. Okay, she's going through a myriad of emotions right now. Uh, she doesn't know what to think. Um, she's got a father that she just found out about. She just did the do with Nico for the first time. She's angry with her mom. She basically ran away. Um, and she has no place to live at this moment. Um, I guess she kind of does. Maybe, I mean, she does have a father that she doesn't know anything about. All that, she, she she has no idea where he lives, actually. Um. So, there's that. All right, so maybe it's time for her to head out. Um. Oh, no. They're going to, they're going to hang out. Okay. I guess um, they can go get something to eat then. Um. Let's share a secret. Okay. Hey, um, no more messing around. All right, we're going to have them go get something to eat, and I'll see you guys in just a moment. Uh, Nico decided that he was going to bring Tati to one of his favorite places to get pizza. So um, I'm going to have them talk a little bit. Um, make that awkward question about how his day has been. Of course she knows how his day has been. Uh, she's been with him all day long and they've just been enjoying, really enjoying each other's company, even though it has been a little awkward. Um, so I'm going to have her brighten his day, um, uh, just to let him know that even though this has been, um, an emotional roller coaster for her, uh, because of everything that's happened this this entire weekend, uh, she it's Saturday. It's almost Sunday. It's five o'clock in the the evening. Um, she's still glad that he's here with her. So we're going to order um, and see what is on the menu. I, this is a pizza place, right? So there's going to be pizza. Yeah, this is pizza. Okay. So we're going to order, there's like, okay, let's just get them both a root beer float and um, get him a pepperoni pizza and she will probably have cheese pizza. Okay, 30 bucks for four slices of pizza and two root beer floats. This place is expensive. I just want to tell you, Nico, that um, I just want to thank you for just being there for me again. I know I said that already, but you have been amazing. Um, let's boast about messing around because that's what y'all did. And I had a great time last night. Um, yeah, I, I don't know how to handle this. No worries. We'll take it one day at a time. I had a great time too. And I'm glad that we made it official. I've, I'm in love with you, Tati. And I 
have never felt this way about anyone before. You make me crazy. I hope crazy in a good way. Um, let's see if they kiss. Um, let's see. Let's flirt with him. Oh, a little PDA. Yeah. All right. So look deeply into his eyes. Oh, okay. I have to take a picture. <laughs> I have to take a picture. Yep. This is going to happen, folks. This is going to happen. This is really cute. This is super cute. Yeah. That's cute. Okay. They do look really cute together. I don't approve of what y'all did. I don't. I'm just going to be honest. Um, I'm like a mother bear over here. I do not approve of what y'all did. And um, I really, do, yeah, that's right. Put some feet between you two. All right. She's hungry. He's probably hungry. He's probably tired. He didn't sleep very much. Um considering the fact that she was sleeping in his bed and again like i said he he just kind of let her rest um i have to commend him for that at least but yeah okay so they're going to eat i'm going to let them do that what's he doing oh, okay gosh restaurants are so broken sometimes they're going to eat and enjoy their meal um, probably chat it up a little bit more, be enticing. I mean, this is all about the romance here. They're both like in this puppy dog honeymoon stage. Oh, great. It's a celebrity, of course. Um, wait, did someone just call? Did he just pick up his phone? Okay. All right. Well, I'll just say this. Tati is absolutely smitten. And let's um, let's just talk about the elephant in the room here. The fact that she's never done anything like she did last night before. He is her first. Um, her first everything. Boyfriend, everything. So you can imagine how much, how, how much she really is feeling right now. She is enamored completely and unequivocally in love with this guy um, she has been for a very long time and now that she's gotten everything she's wanted um, she she's head over heels Nico on the other hand just got out of a relationship from being cheated on he does love Tati but I don't think he loves her the way that she loves him. That is my thought because there's no way he goes from being in love with Tempest to all of a sudden loving Tati wholly and fully. Um, yeah, she's on his mind, but I think he he's... I think he thinks he loves her. Okay, we are back and it looks like things have calmed down a little bit. Um, yeah, I think so. He is still elated with her and she is just as with him. Oh, look at him. He's lighting a fire, trying to, whoa, oh my gosh. <laughs> Wait a minute, did we not start off this LP fairly early in the LP with Nico starting fires? Do we not remember when Nico started the fire out here on the back porch? Yeah. He is the fire starter. By the way, where's the butler? You guys seen the butler? He's I haven't seen Mr. Yoshida in a long time. Poor Nico. He's like, Calgon, take me away. He's got the lavender in here. Oh my gosh. All right. So she's probably like completely... <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh um can we clean this up yeah i'm gonna have her clean up the floor she's probably a mess now because he's like she thought maybe she'd lost the love of her life um what burnt down 
I'm not sure, but something burnt. I don't know. Who knows? He's so... <laughs> Nico, don't you dare. Don't you dare. Didn't you... Wow. He, he hasn't learned. He hasn't learned. He has not. All right. So he's just sitting here charred up. <laughs> Eat the hamburger. This is ridiculous. You know I have to take a screenshot of this. You know I gotta take a screenshot of this. All right. Yeah. This is happening. Okay. This is hilarious. Okay, guys. I think we're gonna go ahead and end it there. Um, I'm gonna have her. Okay, I was gonna say I'm gonna have her use the restroom. But we're going to go ahead and end it there. And I do hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Journey to Redemption. I know it was a little unorthodox for me. I was a little um, dumbfounded that all that went on, even with the loss of my mic, um, because I muted my mic again. I'm going to have to change my shortcut. But um, we're, we rolled with the punches and uh, we managed to <laughs> um, get out of this at least, I think, well, I was going to say unscathed, but um, yeah, yeah. Anyways, I do hope you enjoyed this episode of Journey to Redemption, as I said before. If you're not a member of the family and you like to come to the family reunion, you know what to do. Drop that um, the subscribe button, you know drop down there give it a give it a give it a push and that notification bell so you know that every time I upload I do upload at least three times a week and until next time guys ciao